Hi there, my name's Tommy Myers. I opened up Oaxaca, a restaurant in Covent Garden doing street food, Mexican street food. With me, I've got one of my head chefs, Elki, all the way from Mexico. Hello, Tommy. Which part of Mexico are you from? Uh, Mexico City. Mexico City. Yeah. Today, we're going to make a mole of complex nuts and chocolate and spices and herbs. Mole, spelt like mole, never pronounce it like mole because you'll get laughed at, is a sauce. Like guacamole is a sauce of avocados. Today, we're going to cook a mole. Uh, with some of these amazing chilies. Elki, tell us about, something about the chilies in Mexico. Yeah, we can open them like they were a fruit. So they are actually a fruit? Yeah, they're actually a fruit. The smells are so amazing, aren't they? Completely oh, rich yeah. and not just hot and not hot, like people think of chilies. And so with these dried chilies, we can then soak them and use them to make sauces. Sauces, marinades, um, you can do chocolate, you can use... Um, chocolate. Another chocolate. one of Mexican's ingredients. So both chocolate, we've got some chocolate here, dark chocolate. Both chocolate and chilies were ingredients native to Mexico. Well, uh, yes, the cocoa, not, not the chocolate as we know it right now. Yeah. Like, uh, but the cocoa, it was used to mix it with the chilies. Uh, just to give a little bit of a kick. Like, uh, now we go and get a coffee. Yeah. Probably... A few uh, centuries ago, they used to have their uh, cocoa mix with chiles just to give a kick and get lifted. Get high. So I'm going to be using all those spices we just talked about, the pasilla, the mulatto, the nuts, the seeds, the spices to make a rich, dark, chocolatey mole with a char-grilled venison steak. That rich, gamey flavour will perfectly bring out all the flavours of the sauce. Delicious. So here, I'm just toasting these chilies. Very, very, very lightly uh, on a dry, dry frying pan, absolutely no oil. Um, and we're doing this to release all these incredible flavours. And cooking is a really, um, it's a very maternal thing in Mexico. So the mothers and their grandmothers would all be grinding their nuts and spices together for big parties, you know, maybe 200 people. And we're going to make a real fine paste from this and I'm going to put my spices in at this stage too. Now I'm going to add my plantain. So the plantain along with the prunes and the raisins add a sweetness to the sauce that we're really looking for and that sweetness is going to kind of contrast with the spices and the chilli flavour. I've got my plantain, I need to put the tortillas in. Again these are going to add a lovely corny mazy flavour to the sauce and they're going to add body. So I'm just going to rip these up into pieces and we're going to fry these in the fat too. So it's all going into the fat. So now all those softened chilies I'm going to add to the blender with the nuts, the sesame seeds, the spices and all the flavour of the chilli is going to be added to our sauce. I'm going to add some oil to my pan and essentially we're going to cook the mole in the fat. So I'm going to add my sauce to the pan. My mole has been cooking for about half an hour. I've got to add the special ingredient, which of course is the chocolate. This is 70% solids and it's all going to go in. And that's going to season the mole. So now I'm going to stir in that chocolate right at the end because we don't want to burn it. And it's going to give the mole that unmistakable dark, luxury flavour. In it goes. And the mole is ready to eat. So I've got my steak, venison steak. I'm going to throw it onto my char griddle. We're going to cook it rare and we're going to pour a lovely pool of mole over it. The smells are so incredible, aren't they? Incredible. You Mexicans, you've got some tricks up your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs>